You said Phil's hammered, huh? Good morning, Rotarians. Good morning. 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 Down this way. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and for all our rotary brothers and sisters. We pray that you help us find a way to get more sisters. <laughs> and uh, strengthen, strengthen us in your service and always keep us mindful of the needs of others. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Good morning, Rotarians. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Michael. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Good morning. Appreciate that. Okay. First item. You have to put the food for Jay. Put it on the table. Right, on, right, yeah. up, right there. Okay, good deal. Now, does anyone have anything good for road? First question. If you have anything to come up, all right. That's good. We'll pass right along. Now, I have been told, and I've been into places where someone gets on the table, uh. and, they come, uh. and it's not often that I've been there. But it's I like, mean. <laughs> Man, that's for Phil. Oh, oh, there you go, Phil. Kenny, Sir, have you seen anything different about our president up here this morning? I know one thing is bad when <clears throat> patrons stuff his G-string with money and he just leaves it hanging there. Uh-oh. 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 I was waiting. That's right. Good deal. He was on the table. That's what you get for getting on the table. <laughs> All right, Walter, we are glad to have you back. Walter's been gone for three weeks, been in Europe, all over Europe for three weeks. And he was telling me about some of the places and just outstanding. So, welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I've got to do, there's two things I have to cover. Two things I have to cover. All right, I'm going to get it. All right, first of all, a memory check. And I like to do this occasionally just to ask someone. I know we never have issues with memory. All right, Dan Green. Uh, Dan. All right, I'd like for you to give me your business address and your telephone number. Uh, 1331 North Center Street. And the phone number of the office. Yep. 828 uh, Okay, very good. All right, I need a dollar for advertising. in our club has an SUV, particularly for his dog, Jake. Oh, yeah. And when Jake goes to the doggy daycare, he goes to the vet, he has his own car. Now, my understanding is it's beginning the summer season. Jake wanted a convertible. Mm -hmm. And the rumor is that this person has bought a Jeep convertible for Jake <laughs> to rise this summer. Is there anything to that, sir? No. They're not. If it's not for Jake, it's my granddaughter. Oh, okay. What well, you're driving it around. I was. I, I did. I was driving it around. Okay. So it is not for Jake. No. It's my, okay. My I'll put a dog in the pot because I had thought maybe you had bought it. False Jake. advertising. It is. All right. Good enough. <coughs> All right. Is there anything else for Rotary that you have this morning? Any other comments? All right. It's all yours. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. I have a, I have a quick bit of news. Um, after our uh, meeting last week when we discussed um, uh, CART and uh, the, the great contribution that, that our district has made to CART and our discussion about Stop Hunger Now, thank you very much for helping me clean up the mess, you're hardworking. <coughs> Rotary, Rotary Club Secretary and President 
spent <coughs> countless hours on DAC TV, well, at least minutes on DAC TV. And we have succeeded in putting in the application for the district grant <coughs> for our club to help with um, Stop Hunger Now next year. <coughs> so we did get that done. We got it in under the deadline. And an initial review by the district folks seemed to think that we did out of the I's and crossed the T's. So we'll wait. We, we, we had a lot of help from Century mm -hmm. Link, though. Yes, we did. My internet went down for 54 hours while we're trying to get this done. Yes. Uh. So, so that, that has been accomplished. I want to let you know about that. Um, I think without further ado, we should ask for the, all the, all the projectors still working. We should ask for the program. All right. Shall I introduce you? Yes. Okay. Uh, we have with us today a man who is not from Ireland but brought with him the luck of the Irish, as we discussed by email beforehand, because we actually got this going. The one and the only, uh, sometimes sometimes known uh, under various noms de plume, but now we know him as Gavin Sinclair. Please take it away, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, I, I had a really interesting program lined up, and it fell through. So I can always <laughs> fall back on the, on the mysterious beings. Um, they are mysterious. Look at that. Very mysterious at the moment, yes. Amazing. Some of you may have failed to block from your memory a previous presentation that I did, the band, the mysterious beings, um, and uh, explained that uh, they, this, is, this is my band, uh, which is the best band imaginable, uh, especially as they're entirely imagined. Um, and, uh, I kind of went through and outlined and introduced some of the uh, some of the members of the band. Um, I can see that also at the top left there. I'm not sure who it is, but the uh, this is uh, Bo Strokes, actually from North Carolina, who is our violinist, Mr. Bo Strokes. And then on the uh, alto sax we have Aldo Sax from uh, from France. On the Piano and keyboards. We have Mr. Gene Poole Skimmings from England. <laughs> and, uh, on the guitar. We have D Sharp, who is from Scotland. And uh, on the drums, we have from uh, Afghanistan, where he was a member of the leading dance combo here, the Taliban. Uh, oh, oh. Mr. Mr. Kit Taliban. Alabama. I'm sorry, what was his name again? Kit Basher. Kit Basher, there we go, on the, on the drums. <laughs> and uh, lastly, from Peru, our uh, bassist and rhythm man, Mr. Juan 234. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's the band. <laughs> um, and I also mentioned that we were working on our first album. Uh, so far, we only really have the title and the uh, picture, but that's probably, and we haven't progressed a whole lot further than that. But we do have a few more. Actually, hold on, let me put this into the presentation mode. That's where it should be. Um, no, it's down. There we go. We do have a few more songs, I'm afraid. Uh, to bring up. And this is going to be interesting because we're going to see how well this little Bluetooth dongle uh, works. Uh, this is the first one that I've uh, actually got up on Spotify. And um, it's, uh, you know, a lot of what I do is a bit, uh, attempting to be, a bit attempting to be funny, funny songs, but this one's a serious one, as you, as you can see. Um, this is a song of love, loss, and despair, redemption, and ultimately triumph. A man who overcomes a deep-seated anxiety caused by a fundamental problem. As you'll see, our hero is sitting on a whole heap of trouble. One second. Yes. I'm not sure what. If I put this really loud, it kind of helps mask the quality of the actual singing. If you can call it that. Uh, let's see if this works. Supposed to start playing. <laughs> Be 
were named in shy letters. Daisy thought it was hot till our love ran cold. Now she's gone and I can never forget her. She left me with a broken heart. And a tattoo that quivers whenever I fart. Yeah. Knowing that she'd always be a part of me.
comment. Yes. I am not climbing up on the table to try to fix the sound after those lyrics. <laughs> not even for a dollar? Not even for a dollar. What about 50? <laughs> I you know, maybe I am retired, you know. Okay, this next one actually, I really, it's got a video, so I ought to be putting it on here, but given what's happening there, I'm going to un-Bluetooth this and just play it off of, of here. Uh, so, um, I can figure out how to do that. Where did you get the music for that? Uh, From his band? Uh, huh? From what? The band. His band. He introduced his band. No, he, he, he copied that somewhere. That's pretty interesting. No, I, I, it's a, there's a program called Band in a Box, and uh, you can do amazing things with it. It's like having your own band. I mean, you, you start off with the melody, and, uh, um, and then you can create this backing band behind it. It's, it's, a, it's an astonishing program. A lot of professional people are actually using it, and usually for demos and so on. And uh, what they often do is they'll do the same thing, like if they're a guitarist, then they'll create this stuff and do their guitar solos and all that kind of stuff. So all of these are kind of a mixture of that. There's occasional things that I'm playing. Some things that friends I've made, it's like over the internet, are playing. They're a lot more talented than me, and a lot of uh, stuff that comes from the band of box. But you're the librettist. Uh, yeah, and I write the melody, and. Okay. Very good. So, Impressed. Uh, yeah, that was that, that was the first one I think, on Spotify actually. I made seventy three cents on Spotify. So, <laughs> so turning out to be. That was from a lady named Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy paid the hammer. She paid to immortalize. To be, to be, to, to, for me to never play that. <coughs> As usual, the, the part that we were sure would work this morning is what's not it's working. Connected. It's still saying no Bluetooth. Let me switch it off and on again. Joe, you might want to think about joining this band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe's a guitar player. Uh oh, there you go. And he plays in the praise band at our church. Oh, well, very good. Yeah, we've got some more raw material. Okay, I'm going to try something that we here because, uh, as I said, the next one actually has a video, so it's all synchronized and so on, so it's probably going to be pretty weird as I try to play them both. I'm going to play the music to here and the video off of here, so this could be interesting no, to say the least. So, Remix. Yeah, exactly. It won't, the sound won't go out through the HDMI? Uh, it wasn't. Because they have speakers. I know, but we've never had any success with that, have we? I mean, no, although it is a different it is a different projector. I know, but how would I do that? Well, at this stage, maybe. Yeah. Uh, do what you want to do. Yeah, go ahead. What? I, it would probably mean me out of the table and more abuse. Oh, so let's do that then. Oh. <laughs> So let's okay, while we're well, waiting, can I throw oh. something in? Oh. Well, okay, no, sorry. All right, this one, as I say, is a, a video. I'm going to play the video anyway and uh, turn the volume right down here so it doesn't come out of the computer. And play it on.
feet on mascara with your mouth closed. Tell me why you think you love me. Tell me why you don't. Tell me why you won't leave me alone. Tell me why you're leaving me. Tell me why are you still here? Tell me where did you go? So much that's a mystery, mister. So much that's crazy as hell. You look like a pretty smart sister. Hey, can you tell me? What has he got that I haven't got? Tell me where do I get it? Tell me why would I want it? Tell me why do you? Tell me why I don't want to go to bed. Tell me why I don't want to get up. Tell me why this song doesn't rhyme. Tell me why it does some of the time. So much that's a mystery, mister. So much that's crazy as hell. You look like your pretty smart sister. I bet you can tell me when. Did time start? Tell me what happens after it stops. Tell me what lies beyond the edge of space. Tell me who made God. And if he made man, in his own image, tell me who made Donald Trump. Tell me why are your fingers in your ears? Tell me why are you crying? So much that's a mystery, mister. So much that's crazy as hell. Do you look like your pretty smart sister? Hey, can you tell me? How much is the doggy in the window? How many puppies are at the farm? How much do they pay Kim Kardashian? Did you lose this quarter I found? Tell me who in a firing squad would name to miss? Tell me who when a heart is breaking a kiss. So much that's a mystery, mister. So much that's crazy as hell. You look like your pretty smart sister. Hey, can you tell me who, what, where, why, when? box yes sir do, do you have to write out the the bass line and uh, and the percussion line or are those selected you can do various what uh, it's all real people playing it's amazing how much time you must have put into this uh, and uh, you can uh, obviously you can set out obviously the chord progression right and then there are certain like it can suggest styles to you and it'll take combinations of different instruments that are recorded there or you can select your own or from both but you know like ah. I say well I'm going to do mostly that but you know what I'd really like to have this kind of guitar in here instead of that kind of guitar and, and bring in a different instrument 
it's kind of like having a band, like I was in a band when I was younger, we were hopeless, but the, uh, uh, it's like having a band where they've got the patience to listen to you for hours when you tell them, no, I don't want it quite like this. I know no, you can't go for a beer now because we're going to wait until we get it right. So it's like having a band like that, because gotcha. they, they can't go anywhere. So it really is uh, quite a program. Um, but of course, don't let anybody know that because the world too bad you don't have any creativity, you know, it's just a struggle. <laughs> yeah, good job. Thank you, thank you. Well, I have my band to help me, but uh, uh, I've got one more, and uh, I guess I'm not going to play it off of this because, um, well, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Which means that I've actually got to kind of the wrong slide because I changed the, uh, the name of it. Uh, and actually, this. Uh, um, hold on, let's go to the slide show. This is one that I got uh, an idea from watching all these commercials that there are right now since everything's about uh, all this online dating and all this kind of stuff, uh, especially for old, older folks, you know, like our time and, you know, online dating mm -hmm. over 50 and so on and so forth. So I thought that seems like a good idea for a song. And I actually changed the name because I, I go to this uh, songwriters group, the National Songwriters Association down in Charlotte. They're affiliated with, with this worldwide kind of thing. Some really talented people like Merrillfest and all this kind of stuff that are way out of my league. But uh, one of them made the suggestion that since the person I'm describing in it, because originally it was Island Girl, actually matches up entirely with my wife who's Irish. Why not just call it Irish Girl? So what you're going to hear, now that I haven't updated my phone, is the Island Girl version. Um, but, uh, this Ireland is an island, so I thought it was so, Anyway, here we go. Start to live again this broken heart 
perfect mind is ready for love. Discussion about whether we're going to shout at you right there. 
Oh, uh, we're not. We're talking about. We're talking. They did. Okay. I thought we had had. Uh, ha I thought we had discussion about whether I was going to have brain damage. Yeah. And I thought we said we weren't. Yeah. That's what I thought. No, we weren't. Yeah. We were not. Yeah. We're just going to save it for the, the big dance. We, okay. We, we said that we're going to put all of our okay. energy into one dance. Okay. Okay. So we're talking about 2019. Any jobs that have to be done. Uh, the venue. You already got that site. Hey, you know, at a certain age, you don't plan that for a stage. <laughs> This is 59. Stike, you got the stage. Uh, deposit and retainer, Roseman and Steiger, okay? That cool? Glenn Roseman and Steiger. Okay, for the contract, that would be the same two folk. Uh, refresh. Way in contract, is that what you're referring to? Uh, the main contract, the, the main contract, okay. the, the venue contract. Yeah, that's a different one. Okay, okay. contracts. Oh, that's right. <laughs> You watch it. Okay, refreshments. Hey, hey, refreshments. Um, let's see. Who am I putting down for refreshments? Okay, yeah, well, that's what's been happening. Okay, you got refreshments? Sure. Okay. Uh, Rick Van Den. Rick's got the bar. <laughs> yes, our refreshments. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, uh, wait, excuse me, sir. I yes, just, sir. just want to make sure I'm clear on everything. We said we're not doing a spring dance? Yes, we did say we weren't. No, and this is for what? This fall. is for fall. This, this is when, fall you're, when you're not the president. Yeah, this is for, remember we had said, what we were going to do was set it up. I, I so understand. It be on, okay, but, but you're getting it for the... Yes. There are some pieces I'm getting for this this fall dance. Of 2019. Of 2018. I thought we had got that all covered. We who, Okay, who's going to set up a breakdown? I, I, okay, I. You know what I'm saying? Okay, go ahead. Go okay. ahead. I, so, because um, we got half that I've done. Already. We 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 have. Okay, and right, that's what ahead. I'm saying. I understand. Stuff that's been done. Yeah. Let's put a name by it. Put my for refreshment. Okay, yeah. you you got refreshment. So now okay. it's not the dance of 2019. It's the it's, dance it's of 20. It's the upcoming one to make sure everybody has a responsibility. Everybody got responsibility. Yeah. And yeah. we're gonna carry this forward. If and I if you it. already have done a job, that's your job. So wait. Okay, uh, for setup, I got Donald Hicks. I am going to put on the list. Uh, we're just going to start at uh, blah, 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 start the top. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Kenny Clunch, you're always there at the end, aren't you? Or at the beginning? Well, the last time I took food to the Salvation Army. He left early. I okay. took food to the Salvation Army. <laughs> well, he didn't come back. Well, he, hey, leave him alone. I was helping <laughs> serve up Salvation I got him setting up. I got uh, Kenny Clunch setting up. I got. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Dan Green setting up. What does setting up mean? That means if their tables are set up, if their chairs are set up, if uh, there's food to bring in. And go over there Saturday prior to the dance. About an hour and a half, two hours before the dance. I'll do that. Okay. I don't want to be up late, so. Okay. That's right, uh, Pastor Joe. I'm going to go Joe. It's still the reverend to call you Joe. Just <laughs> okay. No, is he in place of Dan? No, he's not in place of Dan. He's added to Dan. We're the three musketeers. There you go. So for setup, I'll give you this list. We got uh, for setup, we got Donald Hicks, Kenny Klein, Dan Green, Joe Westfall. For breakdown, we're just gonna keep down the list. Let's see. Breakdown, let's see. I'll help there because okay. I usually do. Okay, Rick Vendet. Rick Vendet. Okay. Um Right down. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, bum, bum, bum. That's what put me in there too. Okay. Uh, Phil Trey. Okay. Anybody just blaring to go, just jump up. Because I'm going down. Um, okay. Ken Luderbach is due to that dance, but I, I don't want to stick him in. Take him. Stick him in anyway. He should have been helping us break down. Yeah. yeah. Ken Luderbach. And little box. And uh, boy, Ronald McKellar. He's usually here. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we always help. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, food. Uh, I'll help with the food. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Richard, uh, right. Okay, Richard, you in Austin? Do what? You in Austin? Yeah, be cool. I'm, I'm sorry, clarification. Is this for this October? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And for the next one too. 
we can always amend. You know, I get able to change it. Okay, um, food service, that, that to me means serving the food, um, seeing that the guests have their food, taking it out, stirring the food, keeping it fresh, put, putting it up there. I'm putting Donald Hicks, I'm putting um, Steve, put me Steve down Hunt. Too. You put me down too. Okay. And I, I would suggest all, all club members be aware of need in that area. Just yeah. jump in. Yeah. Richard Tucker, and I'm gonna, I, I get you on, on service. Uh, clean up, okay? I'm gonna have, um, on the clean up, I'm gonna go straight down. Um, clean up and tear down our credit. Yeah, I, it put me down, because that's part of the tear down. That's all yeah. one okay. thing. Yeah. I would just duplicate whoever was on okay. tear down. On, on, on our tear, tear down? Yeah. We'll just call it break down the clean up. Okay, 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 let me go and grab the break down, folks. Break down, I got it. I got Rick, Phil, Ken, and Robert. Okay, um, that's the cleanup. The venue, vendor, or in-house, what was that all about? The in-house vendor or in-house, choosing the vendor for the food. We all gonna do that, okay? We do all, okay? Uh, raffles, 50-50, I got Phil Trick, and I would say Bobby, but uh, she's not officially, um, for the, the guns, TV prize, I got Steve Hunt, I got Kenny Clontz, I got um, Jenny White. Okay, do we want to do a raffle, and what do you want to raffle off? We can raffle off a TV, we can raffle off a gun. Topic for another day. Watch, yeah, okay. watch, watch, watch gun. Move watch on. gun. Okay, it's under legislation. Day. Is it? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. That now, uh, can anybody think of any more jobs to be done? Because I don't have any more listed. I got uh, at, at post dance, follow up with the sponsors, how the money was used. I'm going to, um, Glenn. Oh, Who loads out the stuff Monday morning? Okay. Um, what about collecting the tickets and the cash? Uh, let's go ahead and put that down then. I'm on that. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll be on that too. So front 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 front. I'm I'm down. Tickets and cash. <coughs> that means and I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne and Michael are usually down there. A couple other people. Okay. Go ahead. Dan, Dan's usually down there. Wayne and Honeycutt. Gavin will be Gavin coming down there and, and gets in the way. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you said, who else you said? Michael? Okay. And Gavin gets in the way, but we let him stay. I usually sit down there with the square in case the man credit. And then Dan Green. Dan Green. And then we have a couple And then Gavin Sinclair. Gavin Sinclair. I heard five names, but I'm going to get to four. Okay, uh, I'm going to get one more. Uh, we got Glenn Roseman. I think they said. The name, get, have you down there with the yes, square? Yes, sir, please. Okay. Yeah, thanks for when I a credit card. Or like the way you can do okay, it. I got uh, Wayne, Michael, Glenn, Dan, Gavin, and Glenn. Yep. And these are all the people that are going to be collecting uh, tickets and cash. Okay? Uh, what if, another job that you can think of? Security. We, we get the Ron. Okay. We're gonna get the have Steve handle security. Ron and Steve. Yeah. Ron and Steve. Yeah, Ron is security guard. He is. Ron who okay. he works for Ron Leach is a security <laughs> guard. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> hey, Ron gonna be tired of security guard. I don't, I don't know about that. And uh, Steve Hunt. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that what we're probably gonna do is do like we've been doing in higher. Uh, okay, uh, is there another job that you can think of? Anybody can think of another job? No, but if we, if we send that out, if you send that to me and I can, or you can send everybody, okay. everybody can look at it and see what Who, needs who's to be what? amended. Okay, um, I shall do that, I shall send it out. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Getting us started on organizing that. I, um, I sent, I sent around a, um, sorry, what? Saturday's leadership meeting. Yes. Don't want to forget. I, I sent around a, uh, I sent around an email of uh, what I gleaned from 
our notes on the whiteboard. Yeah. Um, Wayne was kind enough to, to take a photo of that, and, um, and with a little work, um, I managed to decipher the uh, almost all of it that was clear in the kit from reading one of the words, but, but I got pretty much the whole gist of what's going on there. And as you recall, I, I did that so that we would have something before us uh, to discuss the budget. But just before I jump into that, uh, reminder that we have the, uh, the leadership training event on Saturday uh, for folks that, that uh, are in positions of leadership or coming into positions of leadership up in Asheville. It's the morning up there. Yeah. Uh, it's AB Tech. AB Tech. It's a, it's yeah, a great event. Who's all going? Just so I know. There's two. I'm out of town, unfortunately. Okay, so it's just two of us. That's mainly about 10 bucks. It, it is a great event. I've, I've been there before. They, they they cover an awful lot of territory, so um, great thing for that. Dr. V. Well, we don't have any time left to talk about budget, but it's not a problem because I had the program next week. Yeah. Guess what's going to be? Budget. Um, Boy, aren't we smart. So I need you to, and I'll put it in a minute in the summary here. I sent you this copy which Glenn and I worked on, uh, Glenn really did it, I just put it on my copy here, of actual, this the budget <coughs> that we had last year, and then on the far right-hand column, it's actual, what we really brought in, what the differences were. Everybody got that, so please bring that next week. I'm assuming seven of you will forget, so I'll make some extra copies. <laughs> um, also, uh, make copies of what... Um, Phil put down, uh, Phil sent out to everybody because that was the brainstorming session where we talked about what we might be spending money on as well as uh, various uh, sundry activities we'd be involved in. Because the issue is going to be when you look at the budget, and I put that in the email to y'all, and it said, I said, um, we did a very good job of projecting our income and expenses Based on these numbers, we made a profit over $2,800 that um, for the year. Okay, uh, our process of using actual income expense to create a new budget appears to help us create reasonable budgets. However, we had expenses that were not budgeted. And that's the big issue, because on the back, on, this, on page two of what I sent you, is a list of all the different things on which we spent money that we had not budgeted. Now, we were fortunate that we had a big, big state, you know, a big, uh, what I call a fund balance, that we could take from that to make sure things were, were paid, uh, paid for. Um, so we want to discuss next week which of those items we want to keep, how do we put them into the budget, should we use some of the money that is out there and include it as income. That's what we often do in making budgets for school systems and for my job that I'm in now, we look at what our expenses are, what's our normal expected income, and if there's a gap, if we need to pull some from our extra account and list it as income to make sure that things balance. That's a discussion to have. Um, plus, if we have X amount of dollars that's, that's out there, what's the minimum? We want to make sure we don't get any lower than a certain figure. That's for discussion. So please come next week prepared to discuss budget, and um, we'll get as much done as we can. We really need a budget before Donald takes over on, on July 1. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good. And I'm sending around, uh, that's what's in the bank right yeah. now, so that's, uh, that's in the bank. That's a bank statement, not my statement, so I always like to send that around every meeting so you can see at each meeting. Excuse me? Good. More than that. Anyway, more harassment from your friend. Yes, the <coughs> district uh, governor-elect to be installed in June, and the uh, district coordinating committee has been pressing to have every club provide the name and the presence of an administrative chair because they're bringing some guru in from California to teach how to do the administrative functions. When I said our administrative chair was running for a political office and unavailable, 
well, he's got to learn to do, and I described what Dr. Van Dett does for us, and the consensus was, damn, he ought to be teaching the class. <laughs> so, so you got me off the hook by how you do it and what you do. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So that helped. Um, all right, so, so next week, yes, budget stuff. Be sure and, and, uh, and come with your thinking caps on so that we can, uh, we can get it done during, during regular meeting hours. I don't have anything else. And I know the pressing for us to discuss, we may actually get uh, out of here on time. One very quick thing. Yes. Uh, the, I've got the notification that it's time to put stuff into the newsletter again. Yep. Last month I did send stuff on the um, on the stand down, but it didn't make its way in there. I wonder if it ever got uh, 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 When you do that, duplicate me, because I'm inside some of that committee. Okay. And if all else fails, I have a level six, I can stick some stuff in. Okay. Um, does anybody have any suggestions for anything that would? Well, should we try to get the stand down in there again? We can try. Oh, yes, yeah, let's okay. do. I mean, that's that's, that, that's a great. That, event that's for that's us. another thing. If you've looked, have you have, has anybody looked at this month's Rotarian magazine? Yeah. One of the things that they're featuring are pictures taken by Rotarians when the effect of service and self and gratitude show in the picture and just neat pictures of where we are wh when we did it, you know. And we should be taking our cell phones, take some snapshots because you have raw material, you know, in your presence if you just capture it and, and send it. We can create an archive of, of stuff for Gavin to use and we should. Because shame on us if we're not telling our story. Yeah, we need to be out there. And also, that would be good when we do our display at conference. Yes. Uh, at, at conference, we do a lot of things, but at conference, all we have now is stand down. Yeah. We do a lot more than stand down. Yeah. 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 Fellow Rotarians, thank, thank you. Um, I'm sorry that, that I caused such an uproar by getting up on the table. Uh, I'm going to get on the table again to turn this thing off, I think. No, it'll, it'll turn can I say something right quick, sir, for me? Yes. Ring that birthday bell. Yes. Uh, everyone got copies of the letter last year for the advertisement. Is there anything that needs to be changed in that? Because I'm going to hand them out and I'm going to give enough for each person to have five. It don't take nothing just to walk in and hand it to somebody. That's right. And that's our easiest. Uh, we haven't won the bell yet. One dollar. It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. Fellow Rotarians, please join me in the four-way test. Are the things we think, say, or do? Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all?